I think coming to the project, you know, we, we knew we wanted to do something that was around the time of Emergence Day, but we also knew that we couldn't do it actually Emergence Day because the two main characters in our story weren't yet soldiers. So that kind of gave us a framework to start from. And then from there, we were like, well, look, you know, we're going to make this about a central event. We're going to kind of keep the story as contained as we can. We didn't want to get too big. We didn't want to have to save Sarah in its entirety. Once again, we have, you know, a bad guy and a group and a team who want to stop that bad guy from destroying the city. So now it's like, okay, so the central event, great, you know, going through the game, watching as it happened, I think, you know, is interesting, but then the, the, the kind of trial framework, you really, we wanted to show the characters at the end of their journey so you could see that they've kind of become a team, and then unpack that, let them go through what they did, let, them, let the player view the decision that they made, let them, the player understand why the, the characters are being judged, and then kind of see sort of the aftermath of all that decision making. One of the things Rob and I said to each other very early on, was we wanted to take the Hippocratic Oath, which was first, do no harm. Make gears, gears, let it be what it's awesome at being, and, and uh, don't mess that up. You know, really appeal to the passionate gears heads up there and give them the game that they're going to love. But um, having, you know, the, the, the ability to kind of flesh out Cole as he was right after he gave up this lucrative sports career, uh, to sort of show gears fans what that Cole would have been like, or what Baird, who was like a rich kid, right? A rich kid who disappointed his father by becoming this grease monkey who, who screwed around with robots and machines and stuff, to actually show what, like, before he became a jaded, cynical jerk, you know, what, what Baird might have been like. Uh, I felt like, I think Rob, you and I both felt like a huge responsibility, but yeah. also this huge sense of, like, uh, it was, like, thrilling. It was just, it was really thrilling to, like, do our little part to, to bring these characters to life. But, and, um, you know, but it's, it's, it, it wasn't until we saw the concept art for Baird and, and Cole as young men where then it becomes to seem really real and then it becomes really cool. I think, I think we started as fans of the characters, we started knowing the characters and I think we had the opportunity to kind of say, so why are they the way that they are, the characters that we know now, you know? And, and then, so that gave us as writers a lot of leeway to kind of have fun with these characters because, you know, I think in the game there are kind of subtle explanations for maybe why they're a little bit the way that they are when you meet them later. And, and I think also, you know, as Tom said, we really wanted to respect the world that so many people have put so much time and energy and care into, and things like Gearspedia not only helped us, because they serve as incredible quick references to like, you know, what's the name of that guy and the thing? And, I mean, not only helped us, but also like, we never wanted to break any of that. It was really important to us to be consistent and true to that. I mean, the PCF guys are great. Um, the artists over there are very talented, and uh, amazingly so. I mean, we were, we were a little worried in the beginning, but, uh, as they started to produce the artwork, it was just incredible. You know, some of the character stuff is, is amazing, and uh, the environment art and the way they light the environments and the effects. Um, we've got a great art director over there, Waylon Brink, uh, who's kind of tied it all together. And uh, those guys have just done a, a, a fantastic job with the visuals. <laughs> what am I most proud of in Gears of War Judgment? Um, I, I think the overall look is fantastic. I think we took it to a dark place. I'm a, I'm a horror guy, I like the dark dark side of things. I, I think it it, uh, it harkens back to some of the original gear combat, you know, where it's it's, it's actually scary again and, and it's um, it's pretty intimidating to, to get in there and play the game and, and you get that sweaty palm feeling again and, and stuff. Um, so I, I, you know, again, visually, I just I just think it's fantastic. I think the, uh, the cinematics that we did are the best we've ever done in any of our games. The facial stuff, uh, we really concentrated on that. We've got these great animators that have come over from movie studios and, and uh, really interjected uh, the personality into, into the characters this time around. Um, I felt like, uh, you know, I, I just feel like it's the best uh, visually that we've done cinematic-wise um, out, of, out of the whole